Hey you guys, Desmond here and welcome back to the channel. I know we have been away for a short period of time. Life happened, so we had to step away, but we are back. I hope y'all are ready because the videos are coming. We have our review for the Philippines finale, Italy, Germany. We're doing I'm doing Brazil right now. Um, UK, we got so much that we're getting caught up in. We're going to be talking about season five of Dragula. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Um, we really appreciate it. We're so close to our goal of 500 subscribers. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Desmond. I go by simply Desmond, and I will be your lovely host for this period of time so because we are behind we got to cover two episodes the snatch game and then a design challenge honey so i only got the meat and potatoes of the episode so we're gonna go through them relatively quickly but as always make sure you're commenting down below what you agree with what you disagree with and if you do disagree let's let's keep it civil okay i've had to block quite a few people here recently coming for me or coming for Kresha, so let's not do that. And speaking of Kresha, her uh, socials will be listed down below. Make sure you're following my good sis. And now, let's get into these two episodes, okay? So we start off after Aquarella's elimination. So they're coming in, they read their message, they congratulate um, Dallas for winning the lip sync, and then they congratulate Shannon for winning the challenge. So, we come in the next day. The queens are chatting as they always do. Super excited about their pins. The alarm goes off and we get a room mail from Grad Queen. So, Grad comes in and it's now time for our mini challenge. So, they have to get in quick maternity drag and they have five minutes to do so. So, afterwards, they're going to do a photo shoot. Um, of them having said babies. <laughs> so here's the pit crew. Here's how everything is set up. And then we find out that the winner is Miranda LeBrow. I thought she did a good job. <laughs> I thought it was funny. So I was like, at least she's winning something. Because baby, they've been playing in her face. Honestly, she should have won. I know she wins the design challenge. But she really should have won this week. But hey. I'm not grad queen and I'm not the judging panel, okay? So we find out that she wins 5,000 reals and that this week's maxi challenge is the Snatch Game. Now, I'm going to go through this relatively quickly. A, because we have two episodes that we got to chat through. And B, I'm not familiar with any of these uh, celebrities that they are portraying. Now, if you hear a noise in my background, that is my refrigerator. I am waiting for maintenance to come see why it's making that noise. So, if you hear it, I apologize. Hopefully, you won't hear it in any more videos, even if I gotta unplug the damn thing. Because that thing been giving me the blues for a few months now. <laughs> for, 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 for a few months now. So, I, I, will, I will have no problem unplugging that bitch while we are recording. So, let's get into the Snatch Game. Uh, here are our Snatchers, and it's hosted by Grad Queen, and we are joined by our panel of judges, Dudu and Bruna. So, hold on, I got my notes here. Let me scoochy scoochy. Okay, so this is Elena, and she is Narkisa? I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. Um, I thought she did a really great job. I was laughing. I felt like I knew this person. So, yeah, I think she did a great job. Um, up next, we have Shannon Scarlett as Inez Brazil. Now, I remember they mentioned Big Brother, so I'm assuming she's a Big Brother competitor there in Brazil. And I thought she did an okay job. Um, towards the end, it started getting a little, you know, one notish. But overall, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. So, up next is Dallas DeVille, who was Dilma. Rusev? I'm going to say Rusev. Um, I didn't think this was funny. Like, I thought she was fine. Like, I really thought she was going to be safe this week. I was shocked she got a top placement. But then again, I don't know the celebrity she's impersonating. So maybe she had her down. Who knows? 
Um, up next is Ruby Ocean. She was Mar Ilia Gabriella. And baby, where was the jokes? I'm just sitting there and I'm like, now, when you gonna make her funny? And like, she would just go on these little rants and just talk, 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 talk. I'm like, that would work if what you were saying was funny. But hey, I don't. So we're gonna move on to Naza, who is Mar Marcia Sintiva. Sintiva. Um. Now listen. I didn't think she was bottom two worthy. Hold on, I'm trying to think who else was. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, maybe, maybe. It, it was. It wasn't good, but I felt like there could have been somebody else there. Um, up next is Organza. She is Maria Bethania. I thought this was a good job. I was entertained. Um, up next is who should have won the Snatch Game. Uh, Miranda, who was portraying Paula Carosella. Again, these pronunciations are kicking my butt. I thought this was hilarious from the jump. Even that open moment between her and Dudu, oh, that had me cackling. That had me cackling. Everything she said, I was hooked, line, and sinker each time. Each time. So, last but definitely not least, we have Bettina Bolaroy as Regina Ruka. I believe I'm saying that correctly. And I was really impressed by this. Really impressed by this. I was shocked she wasn't in the top this week. I'm like, what? And we, huh? Oh, oh, okay. Because I was thoroughly entertained. And, like, they keep sleeping on Bettina. But I think she's starting to do really well. Yeah, she, she started off rocky. But she's getting there. She's getting there, and I love it. I love it. So, now let's get to the main stage. Grad Queen looks lovely here. I don't know. I just, maybe if this was made out of a different material or maybe even a different color. And I feel like the boots are just a shade brighter than the jewels. But it's nice. It's nice. Um, we are joined by Dudu, Bruna, and our special guest judge, Karefa Bushman. I know I butchered that name. <laughs> so, the category is Carmen's Daughters. And what they really wanted was one of those iconic headpieces that Carmen wore. That was the main thing that they wanted. So, let's get into it. Up first, we have Naza. And I thought this was really cute. This was really cute. Up next is Organza 8. Like, like just look at that. Just look at that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it was just... It's just so good. So good. So good. Um, up next is Miranda Labrow. Like, come on. Like... Again, just like, just like with Organza. Look, just look at the material here. Just amazing, amazing. Up next, we had Dallas Deville. I didn't particularly care for this, especially since like the headpiece is supposed to be like the thing. It it just it didn't give me what I needed. It didn't. Um, up next is Bettina. I thought this was so cute. One of my favorites of the night. I love this headpiece. It plays into her name. I just thought this was a great week. And I really felt like she should have been in the top this week. And I'm going to say that again. They keep playing in my sis face. Um, up next is Ruby Ocean. I thought this was cute. I was like, okay, a little safe. Ain't nothing wrong with safe, though. But when it fell off her head, I was like, oh, no. I know they're going to say something about it. I know. And I wonder, did it fall on both takes? Or did it just fall on one? And they're like, ha! We got her! We got her! You know what I'm saying? So we're moving on to Elena. And this is gorgeous. Um, I love the message behind this. I do feel like the headpiece, which, you know, is the main thing here. I feel like that could have been more elaborate. But I love the message. I love the color. And I love this reveal. It was amazing. So... Up next, we have Shannon Scarlett. I love it. I really do. I love the meaning. I love the message. This was just, it was a beautiful moment. Okay? So, 
we have our amazing queens here. And I have to say, Organza, hands down, had my favorite. But Miranda and Bettina are right there behind her because all them three right there were just it for me upon this day. So we find out that the tops and bottoms are as followed. In the top, we have Miranda, we have Dallas DeVille, and we have Elena. In the bottom, we have Naza, we have Shannon Scarlett, and we have Ruby Ocean. So, I do not agree with the tops upon this episode. I think, who was it? Dallas should have been safe. And I really think Bettina should have been in that spot. Now, I do agree with the bottom three. And thinking back on it, I think I do agree with the bottom two. Because like I mentioned earlier, Shannon started good. But as it went on, it just kind of faded while the other two were relatively just bad so we find out that Elena is the winner I would have gave it to Miranda now Elena you did a good job sis you really did I would have just given it to Miranda this week I really would have and we find out that the bottom two is Naza and Ruby they lip sync to shine it on by Juanessa Camargo and this started off really good for both of them and I'm like, okay, okay, I have no idea who's going to go home. But as the song went on, Naza kept turning it up. And Ruby started turning it down. And you know, Naza was in those shoes and ain't got no heels. Now this split, honey. If you go, now I, I can't split to save my life. I really can't. But I will say this, if you're going to split, make sure you touch the floor. That bothers me to my core. And when I hate a jazz split. I hate it. I'm uh, Mo Hart did them all the time. I'm like, sis, if you don't get up, sis, if you don't get up, stop playing with me. <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, like I was saying earlier, as the lip sync went on, it's just like Ruby's energy just went doo -doo 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 -doo. and that kind of hurt because you know I had Ruby down. I think I had Ruby down for my top four. If not, I was close to putting her down. I'll have to go look to see who I had down. So after the lip sync, um. Greg Queen and the panel decided to keep Naza, which I do agree. Naza kept it consistently cute while uh, Ruby's energy did turn down. So we have to say goodbye to Ruby. Hold on, fixing my pillow. So it's now after Ruby's elimination, and they go in and they read her message. And now this is where me and Miss Elena would have had a problem. Like, it's okay to be emotional. Because your friend left. I can imagine, you know, you're in that pressure cooker. You're, and you found somebody you like and they went home. I get it. That hurts. But to sit there and say, I can't congratulate you right now. That was just basically saying, fuck you. You should have went home. And I'm glad I'm not the I think it was Dallas who said in the confessional that that was disrespectful. It, it, it very was. Very much so. Like, yeah, you can have your hurt feelings, but don't sit there and disrespect me. Because clearly I was given what the judges needed. And I'm still here. And see, Naza better than me because I would have caught, I would have checked her right then and there on it. I'm like, you can grieve over your friend leaving. But don't sit there and play in my face. Don't disrespect me. Because I worked my ass out out there. Um, as Kennedy uh, Davenport would have said, fuck my drag. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. No. Oh, that rubbed me the wrong way. It really did. It really did. So we get into the next day in the workroom. They're chatting. Uh, they're congratulating um, Miss Lania here for having two pins. And the alarm goes off. They get their room mail. And here comes Grad Queen. So Grad comes in and announces that this week's mini challenge is the puppets. Because everybody loves puppets. This is actually one of my favorite mini challenges. Now, who's in charge of these puppets? You tell me they couldn't get a, a, a more melanated puppet for a Shannon and Organza. Like that, that baby, they pulled them out. I'm like, who's, who's that white lady? I don't know that white lady. Who's that white lady? And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, now y'all could y'all could have done better. Come on now. But overall, with this puppet challenge, Miranda completely ate it up. And everybody else just did okay. And then some people bombed. <clears throat> But, uh, 
I do agree with Miranda getting the win here and winning another 5,000 reals. And, you know, I said this with Mexico, and I'm going to say this again with Brazil. It really irritates me that they give out the cash prize during the mini challenge. I'm like, hold that for the maxi. Hold it for the maxi, because not every time there's going to be a, a, a prize for the maxi. And I know they're like, oh, but they get a pin. I guarantee you those queens would rather get 5,000 reyes than a pin. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I would. I don't know how much that converts to American money, but I'd rather get that than a pin. I can buy me a pin, honey. Heck, I got Germany's, and I got freaking UK fives right here. I need to add it to my collection back there. They came in a few days ago. I've been super busy. For those who don't know, I started a candle making business, but more on that later. But yeah, I can buy me a pen, honey. I want the money. So we find out that this week is a, well, I'm going to say a ball, even though next week they're having a ball. So would this just be like a regular design challenge? I don't know because they had to present two looks. One was brought from home and one was made there. And typically that's the ball. Granted, it's three categories typically. But unlike with some uh, international franchises, they've done two categories and just did one look from home and one look that was made. So I thought this was the ball until we saw the preview saying there's going to be a ball next week. Or are they just going to do two design challenges back to back? And if they do, baby, this is not season three, honey. We can spread this out. <laughs> we got we got several more weeks to go, honey. Because I think they're doing 12 episodes as well. Because I think Mexico did 12, right? Hold on, I'll tell you how many Mexico did. Uh, Mexico did 12 episodes, yeah. So we still got one, two, three, five episodes to go. We could have held off on the, uh, another design challenge. We could have waited a little bit. Just a little bit. But hey, it is what it is. So, here is, they're getting their materials, they start making their outfits, and let's get to the main stage. So, up first, we have Grad Queen. I thought this was stunning from the waist up. I really felt like this should have been like a gown. This would have been a real sickling, sickening gown moment. Or maybe even just a cute little pencil skirt, and maybe a pump instead of the thigh high. I don't know, it's just the, the bottom half of this is just not giving. The top half amazing i love it i love every piece of it but the bottom half mm. Mm. so we are moving on to our judges this week we have miss bruna braga and dudu with our special guest judge maria casa deval so the category is black and white and it was the category for both categories and i'm like why not just do one category white one category black you know, white eleganza, extravaganza, black eleganza, over the house, down, chop down boots. I don't know. They could have really, I felt like they really phoned it in with the category this week. But hey, so first the white looks, we have Miranda LeBrow. I thought this was okay. I was like, oh, all right, okay, okay. I hate the hair. Oh, I hate the hair with everything in me. I really do. Um, up next is Shannon Scarlett. I love um, a nod to Mama Rue. I just wished it touched the ground. That's all. Everything else was stunning. Um, up next is Bettina Polaroid. And I love this Elvis meet Madonna look that she had going here. It was so cute. It was very rocker. I really liked it. Moving on to Naza. Who this was so cute. When she came out, didn't this give you very Marsha, Marsha, Marsha? You know, I don't like comparing queens. But when she came out, I got very much Marsha, Marsha, Marsha from this. I'm like, oh, I could see her rocking this down. I really could. But yeah, I really love this. I love the little hoodie bare ears. I thought that was cute. All of this really works for me. Um, up next, we have Dallas DeVille. And I don't like this. It looks very similar to the look she had last week. And I know you can't control, you know, what order you get your the runaways end up being. But when I saw it, I'm like, oh, it just kind of reminds me of what you wore last week. Um, up next is Elena. This is, st oh, I thought I got two screenshots of this. I didn't. This is stunning. Beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love it so much. 
Up next is Organza, and this is just beautiful. Like, look at the way it just sits on her body. Like, everything, it checks every box for me. Just check, 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 check. I'm checking boxes. Well, there's no boxes on this paper, but I'm checking some, some spaces because this was just good, real good. I just wish she would have got um s some more lotion on them legs, honey. Especially if you're going to do that bare leg. We need we need to pop. We need to pop it. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, stunning. Now it's time for the black looks, which is the looks that they made there. Up first is Miranda. And again, just an okay look. It was good. It was a very safe week for Miranda. That's why I'm so shocked she won. I really am. I wouldn't even had her in the top this week, to be honest with you. But we'll talk about how I would have judged things. <laughs> so, um, up next is Shannon Scarlet. Ooh wee. <laughs> Ooh wee. Ooh wee. <laughs> This, this was no good. There's no shape. I think that I think that's the biggest criminal offense. There's not even like a piece of a shape. It's just very square. Like where where is the silhouette, honey? We need we need a silhouette. Um, up next is Bettina Polaroid. Like this, just look at it. Like she should have been in the top this week. This is the second week in a row. I felt like she should have been in the top. I thought this was such a creative look. Love it so much. Up next is Naza. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love the silhouette here. And the fact that she made this. This looks like something she I thought she would have brought from home. Up next is Dallas DeVille. This was just like one size too big for her. And I feel like the it just she doesn't have any legs in this outfit. I wish she would have had like a pump or something just to elong, elongate her legs because it just it just looks like a head and then boom all back. Um now we have Elena and I like this look. But I wish she would have had time to like paint her chest and her arms. The same, you know, palish white color. And then maybe put on some pale white tights. To give the full illusion. You know what I'm saying? Just to give the full illusion. And I would love for that skirt to have been just a tad bit longer. Just a tad bit. You know, just a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like, she she almost had it. Up next is Organza. Just look at the material here. Like, look, look at. Like, it's all there. I love the lace. I love the jewelry. I love the hair. It's just, it's it's all right for me. It really is. So, here are our queens. Um, I personally thought Organza had the best collections of looks. And with it being seven, I would have kept them all up there. I thought it was weird that they sent um, Naza to be safe. If they were to send somebody back, I would have sent Miranda. If we if we had to send one. I'm like, okay, send Miranda. But you know me, usually when they're seven on the stage, I'm like, I'll oh, just keep them all up there. And I would give Miranda good praises. Because the outfits are good. They were both just good. You know what I'm saying? They weren't bad. They were just good. So, Naza was announced safe. And this is our tops and bottoms. Let me pull up my other set of notes. I need to quit with so many notes. In the top, we had Miranda, Bettina, and Organza. And in the bottom, we had Alenia, Shannon, and Dallas DeVille. I agree with the bottoms. Like I said, if they should have just kept Naza here and just did four people on the top. Or if they had to call somebody back, they should have called Miranda back. But I truly think Organza should have got the win here. I do. But Miranda got it. And I'm not too upset because they've been playing in her face. And she should have already had a win. Because if I was judging. Because I, I keep up as if I was judging. If I was judging, she would have got the win for Snatch Game. She would have. So she wouldn't have to, She wouldn't need this win. But rumor. But I'm going to shut up because the rumor might spoil something. But for those who know, no. So, our bottom two is Organza and Dallas DeVille. They lip sync to Decadence Ava Elegance by Deborah Blondo. And I thought this was a pretty good lip sync. Now, Miss Shannon ate, 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 ate. But Dallas was doing 
okay. Like, she wasn't taking it lying down. My only thing with Shannon's performance, I'm like, must we do multiple splits? I felt like the song didn't call for more than one split. That, that was my thing. And Dallas tried. Like, she didn't just lay down and take it. So, afterwards, uh, Grad Queen announces that Shannon is the winner of the lip sync, and I completely agree. Which means we must say goodbye to Dallas DeVille. Mwah. We love you, sis. You did a great job. Hopefully, we'll see you again one day. So, we're off. They're to, to, to the moon. And we find out next week they're doing another photo shoot for the mini challenge. And we're doing a ball. So, are we... Is it just going to be like two or three looks that they brought from the house? Or are they actually going to have to make something again? Because I feel like it's too close to each other if it's, they're going to have to turn around and make something again. But we'll have to wait and see. Look at that. Two episodes in 25 minutes. I did that. <laughs> so, I just want to thank y'all so much for watching. You can find me on all my social medias at Simply Desmond. That's S-I-M-P-L-Y-D-E-S-M-O-N-D. -E thank you so much for spending a PC a day with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.